So if you've been scrolling across TikTok in the last couple days, you've probably seen one of these super insane high quality videos. And you probably think to yourself, like, how do they do this? What camera did they use? They'll even say the video was filmed at 900 FPS, which is just not real at all. And to be honest, how they actually get this effect is by upscaling their video, adding a few different effects and changing their export settings. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly step by step on how to achieve these results. So to get started, I'm just using Premiere Pro, but honestly, you could probably use any software. Um, After Effects is very similar to this and you could do pretty much everything inside of After Effects, all the same effects, but I feel like most people will be using Premiere Pro and it's pretty simple to do it inside of here. But like I said, you can use pretty much any software that has a few different sharpening effects. So yeah. So for my project timeline, I'm using 30 frames per second and a frame size of 1080 by 1920. And this is going to be a vertical 9 by 16 format. So for TikTok and Instagram, and the rest of the settings are pretty much default. Inside my timeline here, I have a few different clips. And to start out, they're pretty high quality, but I just downloaded them from YouTube, so they're not gonna be full res straight from the camera. So when I zoom in here, you can see that there is quite a lot of artifacts and the edges aren't very sharp. You can see in the background, it loses quite a bit of quality. So yeah, not a lot of detail. So what we're gonna have to do is upscale this timeline so that it is 4K, because right now these clips are 1080 by 1920. So what we can do is go ahead and export this timeline. The export settings won't matter too much for this first pass, but let's just go ahead and make sure our target bitrate is around 15. And then let's go ahead and hit export. Now to upscale our video, we can either use two different softwares. A really popular one is actually Topaz. So you can go ahead and try that if you already have that, but it is paid, so you might not want to pay for that. And to be honest, the second option, which is CapCut is free. And I think the AI works pretty well. So if you want to use CapCut, all you have to do is go to Magic Tools, video upscaler and then drag in your footage into CapCut. Now, as you can see, it detects that our current resolution is 1080 by 1920, which is correct. That's what we set in our project. So now what we can go ahead and do is upscale this to 4K. So once your video is done being upscaled, we can go up here and hit export and I'm just going to hit download. Now, just for fun, I'm going to do the same thing, but instead I'm going to be using Topaz. So if you're using Topaz, you can just go ahead and drag your footage into the Topaz project. Now, I think I'm on an older model of Topaz, but this should be pretty similar to the newer update. I have video quality on high, video type progressive, high compression, and my output size is actually at 400%, which is absolutely insane because what we just used for CapCut was 200%, which is at 4K. But by going to 400%, that's actually going to be 8K quality. So in theory, this should be even higher quality. So if you do have Topaz, Pass, I would recommend using this over CapCut. But like I said, this is paid software. So once your videos are upscaled, you can go back into Premiere Pro. And what you want to do is just drag that upscaled video on top of your timeline. Or if you wanted to, you could just create a different timeline just for this upscaled video. But now that this is 4K footage and I'm using a 1080p timeline, this footage is actually downscaled by 50%. So if it was back at 100, you can see it's cropped in, but it's in a 1080p timeline. So now when I zoom into my footage here, you can see that there's just way more quality compared to when we didn't upscale this. I'm just going to toggle this on and off. And obviously this is before and this is after. So quite a big difference. Just kind of going around different parts. Like you can see there's almost like no detail here. You can hardly even see what it says on this little strap right here. And it just adds a bit more contrast and helps sharpen everything up. Now just for fun, I'm going to bring on that Topaz video on top of my cap cut. And let's see how this one looks. And since I upscaled this to 8K quality, I actually downscaled this to 25. So if it was at 100, it'd be scaled in even more. So I'm getting even more resolution out of this one. So here is before the upscaling and this is after with the Topaz. Pretty crazy difference. I'm just going to go ahead and compare this to CapCut. So this is CapCut and Topaz. I'll do a side by side so you can kind of see what that looks like as well. But yeah, Topaz definitely is a little bit better quality. As you can see here, CapCut still has a bit of that noise and stuff, but Topaz pretty much cleans up everything. But since not everyone's going to be using Topaz, I'm just going to delete that and continue this video by using the CapCut. Now let's go ahead and apply some effects onto this. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our Lumetri color and go into our Creative tab and just bring the sharpening all the way up to 100. Now let's go into Effects and search up Unsharpen and bring on the Unsharpen mask onto that upscaled video. I'm going to change the amount to 65 and my radius to 35. And you can go ahead and mess with these values. I just have these because I feel like they work best for this footage, but it's going to depend on your footage and what settings look best. So go ahead and mess around with the amount and the radius here. But yeah, that's pretty much for the effects. So let's just go ahead and toggle this off so you can see before and after. Pretty crazy difference now from 
what we started out with. So lastly, what we need to do is just export this video back out. So let's just hit Control M to open up our export settings. And for our export settings, pretty much everything is gonna be the same. We wanna use render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality. You can enable hardware encoding if your computer allows you to. Let's go ahead and make sure we're using constant bitrate. And for our target bitrate, you wanna use something from like 15 to I'd say like 20. So once your video is saved and you're going to upload it onto TikTok, one quick thing you want to make sure you have enabled before you post it is going into more options, scrolling down and make sure you have allow high quality uploads. So if this isn't toggled on, you want to make sure that's toggled on. And ideally you want to upload this video when you're connected to like your Wi-Fi or some stable connection. So this is actually uploaded to the fullest resolution. And from there, you can just go ahead and hit post and your video should now be the highest quality that you've ever posted before. And if you've ever wondered how people do that, well, this is exactly how they do that. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.